Hi, and welcome to Massage Television, the voice of massage therapy. That's www.massagetelevision.com. And we're brought to you by the FSMTA. And today we have the privilege of being here with Cindy from Synchro Wedgie, who I've known for, I don't want to say how long, because <laughs> long that's just a long time. That's good. There you go. It's like over 20 years. Over 20 years. Yeah, that tells us a lot. Never mind. He won't tell us anything. How young we are. So anyway, Cindy is with Sacro Wedgie. And uh, Cindy, tell us a little bit about, for the folks out there, how you got into Sacro Wedgie. I know this was a family business, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this one? Okay. My dad is actually in the uh, my, my dad's 93. He's a retired football coach. And um, back in the late 50s, a uh, friend was an osteopath and was talking about all the injuries common to the athletes, football players. And he said, Coach, it's an old ast- osteopath technique. Just hold the sacrum with your hand. He'd get him on the table, put his hand under the sacrum, lift, and hold and wait. It takes about 20 minutes for the body to really kind of give it up and return to balance again. So we did this for years. They were tracking down. Coach, can you do that again? And he said, there's got to be another way to do this. So it took him about 10 years, and he developed what mimics his hand. So the top six is right in the dip, and you hold it. There's an elevation pad, a black pad that comes with it. And you can get a little bit more lift. So the sacrum is being held. The hips are free to release. And over the years, now we've developed some, um, some techniques to kind of facilitate balance with the sacrum of the inhale to support the curve of the neck too. So you kind of have like a craniosacral therapy uh, or, or therapy and it's great for self-care. We can care for a physician who heals ourselves and then it's great to work with the client um, because it's not your hand holding the sacrum. So we'll demonstrate a full routine how to do it. Awesome. We look forward to that. And also, you're going to be at FSMTA, are you oh, not? Of course, I've done that for over 20 years. So I have to say this, remember, go to myfsmta.org and look at the conference because we'd love to see you guys there. Cindy would love to see you there. And in fact, demo that you're about to see, you can have done on you at our show at FSMTA in Orlando this coming year. So please check in and look at that. And now we are going to have Cindy show us what she does. Okay, first, this is going to roll to the side, right here, and this is going to go right to the same. Okay. Roll back on it, and with your hands, move to the center. You can move it. And just get the, the toxics right in the dip. The center, and just stretch your legs out, and now relax. This is the most nothing you can do. Oh my God. <laughs> I know me better than that. <laughs> well, it's, it's your turn to totally relax, okay? So first we're going to just do a little bit of rocking. And this kind of gets that little door side. Where you can kind of go on that one. That's a little bit of Then both knees up. Knees together and feet together. Relax, and we're just going to do some walk. Side to side. Now, does one side ever bother you more than the other? Some people really have one side that's real angry. Well, you know, I drive a lot. And so, this side gets a little pitchy. It's not, I'm not feeling that way today. And sometimes it's like this little bit. So we'll keep this side bent. Okay. And stretch this leg out. Relax. Now I'm going to support this knee. My leg just straight and totally disengaged. Okay. We always support the opposite knee because the way we access the psoas muscle, first of all, we never do deep work in the water. 
we're going to access the SOAS unit insertion point right below the ASILs, okay? Or as one therapist said, oh, you mean the as is? <laughs> I said, it is now. <laughs> so, so just flop, just relax. Okay. I'm just going to flop them in a little bit. And we'll go right below the as is. And we're just going to do a gentle pull. A much gentler, kinder way to get a release in the psoas. I just look for a little bit of movement in the foot. That's how I know we're getting a little release in the psoas. Yeah, it feels really nice. Do a little sustain hold, combine a little myofascia work. That's how we do on that side. And you take the knee, and this just disengages this side. You want the opposite side bent. We used to tell people just hold your knee bent. This is so much easier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the routine all on this side first, just let that one relax. So we're going to bend the knee. And stretch. But I don't force anything. When your body stops, I stop. Wow. Wow. to me. Oh. Get all the way up on your side and move to the center of the table. Move to the center, but on your on side. side. Yeah. On the side. There you go. Bottom leg is straight. Okay. Top leg is bent. Okay. With his hand hold to me. Let that shoulder just drop back and just something a little bit of a stretch. I don't want to stress the shoulder anymore. I'm probably over cautious with joints, but and then we do stripping. Put the other side so you're not lopsided. Hi, and welcome to Massage Television, brought to you by FSMTA, that's www.massagetelevision.com, and it's myfsmta.org. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing a friend of mine, Sherry Ott, and Sherry is a massage therapist, and she teaches the Ott method of massage, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, my name is Sherry Off, and I teach the Off Method of Forearm Massage. And I've been teaching it for about 10 years. And I put this program together to better the careers of massage therapists. As we all know, massage can be quite laborious and even potentially injurious. What the Off Method teaches is great ergonomics, great body mechanics for doing massage so that you can do more massages per week or per day with less wear and tear on your own body. And so I was going to ask her these questions, and you, you took the words right there. <laughs> How long have you been doing massage training? I've been doing massage for over 20 years. And is this first career, second career? It was my first career. Yeah. Awesome. Uh -huh. Okay, so you were attracted to massage right away. Yes. You got into it. and you I, just... I was attracted to the healing arts. Cool. Yeah, I'm also an acupuncturist as well. Ah. Yeah. So there you go. So you have dual licensure. I do have dual licensure. And where do you where do you practice? I practice in New York City, in Manhattan. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. 
and you teach all over the country. Where would someone go if they wanted to know where you're teaching? Where would they look? Where would they find They would go to my website, which is offmethod.com, and I've got a workshop schedule on there. I also have a home oh, study place. Right. Off Method is A-U-T-H Method, M-E-T-H-O-D, Off Method. Uh, I also have a 20-hour NCB TMB certified home study course that has a beautifully photographed book and two uh, instructional DVDs shot in HD and a textbook that and thousands of massage therapists have done my home study course and thousands more have studied with me live. And it's a pleasure to serve the massage community who serves so many people. Well, I can tell you that she has taught at the FSMTA and we certainly will have her back again so you'll be able to take her classes there. She's here teaching at the Southern Salon and Spa Conference in Hickory, North Carolina where it's beautiful but a little chilly and uh, what we're going to do is after this brief interview uh, Sherry's going to do some work and show us the method that she uses and how she does forearm massage and she'll explain a little bit to you. So enough uh, interview. Let's, thank see you, what you, Roy. let's see what you do. And Thanks. Thank you to all the massage therapists out there for doing what you do. Thanks for being with us. Welcome to the educational series entitled How Does Cryoderm Work? My name is Dr. Kaplan. Cryoderm is all-natural cold therapy, popular in sports medicine, chiropractic, physical therapy, rehab, and massage. Cryoderm contains many all-natural active ingredients, plant extracts, and oils, such as peppermint, arnica, eucalyptus, ilex, MSM, boswella, and many more. The main action of cryoderm can be explained by the gate theory of pain. Pain is transmitted to the brain through several types of pain fibers. Alpha-delta fibers transmit fast pain. C fibers are unmelanated, slow fibers that transmit slow or chronic pain. Heat or cold sensation is transmitted through alpha-beta fibers that are thick, highly myelinated, fast fibers. The all-natural L-menthol containing cryoderm stimulates TRPM8 receptors of cold-sensing neurons that is stimulated by cold or by L-menthol. Before the sensory neurons reach the spinal cord, they synapse on so-called gatekeeper interneurons in the dorsal root ganglia. These gatekeeper interneurons can close the gate to the pain perception and therefore stop the pain from getting to the spinal cord and the brain. When only pain is present, the gatekeeper interneuron opens the gate and allows the pain signal to pass freely onto the brain. Cryoderm stimulates the cold sensing neurons that reach the gatekeeper neurons, activate them and make them close the gate to the pain perception. Therefore, cryoderm closes the gate and stops the pain. Let's review. The pain is perceived by pain sensor neurons in the skin that send the signals through the sensory neurons to the dorsal root ganglia where the interneuron or the gatekeeper interneuron opens the gate and allows the pain sensation to pass onto the brain freely when only pain is present. Therefore, we feel pain. Cryoderm stimulates the cold sensing neurons in the skin that close the gate to the pain by acting on the gatekeeper interneuron and therefore the pain sensation is no longer transmitted to the brain. Cryoderm stops the pain naturally by closing the gate to the sensation of pain via the gatekeeper theory of pain. Thank you. I hope you will join me for my next episode in the series on how cryoderm works. This was Dr. Kaplan.
just going to show you a little bit of the off method of forearm massage on the back. So the part of the forearm we're going to be using is the upper forearm. And one of the reasons we use the forearm is because it's a more durable massage tool than hands or thumbs. So you can work you can work more with less wear and tear on your own body. And here's the same stroke going up the back using the forearm. When you use the forearm, you've also got more surface area of contact. So you can work more of your client in less time. And you can more effectively work larger muscle groups. When using the forearm, it's really the upper third of the forearm, so it's not a pokey sensation. It's a nice, broad, flat, smooth sensation. I'm just sinking into the first layer of tight tissue, and as that layer releases, I'm dropping into the next layer of tight so tissue, creating a stroke that's therapeutic yet relaxing. Thank you so much for joining me today.